Okay, so today we are gonna create an ancient vase, um, and we're gonna be doing this two-dimensionally, so on paper. And right here is an example of a Greek vase, and you'll see that it's, when you figure divide it in half, it's symmetrical on both sides. And then we're gonna be doing patterns and all that next time. So today we're just gonna be drawing the vase, outlining the vase, um, and then doing our painting and getting it ready for next week, okay? So I'll have one of these sheets. These give you different, some different styles um, of vases so that you can kind of um, make it your own. You could see some of these that the paper would be more um, setting like this, more horizontal, and then some of them are taller, more vertical. So it's really up to you how you want to create your vase, okay? So what I'm gonna first do is I'm going to fold my paper in half. So I'm gonna make a tall vase on mine. And then I'm gonna make a nice crease. I don't have to make a really sharp crease, but just enough crease that my paper is in half, okay? At this point, before I get too far along, I'm gonna write my name, Mrs. K, and um, five dash in your code. And then I'm gonna open it up. So what we're gonna do, we want it to be symmetrical, same on both sides. So I'm just going to draw on one side. So since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna generally draw on the right side. If I was left-handed, I'd draw on the left side. So I don't wanna go all the way to the top and I don't wanna go all the way to the side or to the bottom, but I wanna come close, like finger width. So I'm gonna have the top of my vase here. So I'm gonna do kind of an ellipse here. Then I'm gonna have a little curve down for like the neck. Then I have a curve going this way. That's gonna be the body. Notice, I think about finger width from the edge and then down here, okay? Um, I'm gonna make mine stop here. I'm gonna change that curve right there. I don't want it to curve that way, okay? And then I can have a little foot. Um, so this is like the bottom part of my vase right here. So it's just a real basic vase. Um, I could have a handle on this side, but I don't have a lot of room, so I'm gonna have my handle up here. So in a lot of these vases, you'll see these handles, and they use their vases um, to carry water, to food, and all that. Right now, I think they're so beautiful, I wouldn't want to put anything in um, any of these vases, okay? So um, drawing on the right side, nothing on the left. I'm going to take a black oil pastel, and these have like a wrapper, so you always want to hold on the wrapper. It'll save your fingers from getting really gross. And then I'm going to trace all my lines. And it's okay if you want to lay your paper sideways, whatever works for you. If you get a little smudge on this, I'm totally fine with that. You're going to be eventually painting these. So a little smudging is going to be no problem at all. So I'm tracing over everything with the oil pastel, just pressing lightly. Then I'm going to take this, fold it in half. And I like to use scissors, so be careful, make sure they're shut. But I'm gonna use this, the curved end. And I can see clearly where there's the drawing. You can see the black through the paper. So I'm gonna focus my rubbing on the areas that I see the black kind of coming through the paper. Go all the way to the bottom. And then I open it. I can definitely see it. If I didn't see my transfer, I just fold it and rub it again. And then you don't want that fold to be there anymore. So I'm just gonna kind of unfold it. And now I'm gonna trace over my lines with the black oil pastel again. So they look even on both sides. And we have a nice symmetrical vase, nice Greek vase. Okay, now it's time for painting. So I've got a nice face here and um, you'll have paints of brown, white, and black. I would suggest a medium size to large size brush um, so that you can um, paint this fairly quickly. Um, there is a water cup for the white step, but you do not need it at the first two steps, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna kind of this so you can still see what I'm doing. Okay, so double check. My name is on the back, my class code, and I'm gonna dip my brush into the brown first, and I'm gonna kind of go down the middle. Okay, and this is a washable brown, which, you know, it's great because it's washable. The bad news is it's not as bold or vibrant of a color, but I'm just gonna go 
all the way down the middle. Since my middle right here is a little bit wider, notice that my brush strokes are also wider. So I'm not going far left or far right. And I'm just keeping on painting all the way down till I get to the bottom. And I'm gonna paint down here. There we go. So I got all the way to the bottom. Now, without washing my brush, I'm gonna dip into the black. Now, black is a tint, it's very strong. So I'm gonna go, and go around the edge here with my black. It's, and it's very dark right now, I know that. Okay, now I'm gonna dip my brush into the brown and then I'm gonna paint kind of overlapping where it is black with my brown. And then that way I'm gonna get a kind of a dark brown, black. And notice I'm kind of going sideways right now, just so I have like more of a curve of the vase. And remember, no water, no water is necessary. And then I'm going to go all the way to that black part again, kind of overlap that just so it's a softer, not a hard edge where the black is. Um, if you want to get a paper towel, kind of wipe off some excess, that's totally fine with me. I'm gonna go back into the brown now. And rather than going side to side, I'm gonna go kind of up and down and slightly curve it. And I don't always have to do this with all browns, but since this is a washable brown, I'm definitely gonna give it another coat. Now, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing with the white that I did with the black, and white is a tint. I'm gonna go around the edge, and I didn't wash off my brush. I've got water there just in case. I had a lot of black on it, but since I wiped it with a paper towel, I think I'm pretty fine. This time, I'm gonna kind of Overlap the white with the brown. I went a little bit over my edge there, that's okay. Then I can go back into the brown, like I did the same thing with the black, and kind of take my brown, kind of go over to the white a little bit, so it becomes like a light, light brown. So you don't want the edge to be perfectly white. You want it to be a very, very light brown, so I'm going into light brown, medium brown, and like the dark brown, okay? And then for the handles, if you need to wipe this off again, you can. If you do rinse off your brush and you use this, you need to rinse it off and then you wanna dry it off on the sponge, okay? You don't want a super wet brush because um, if it's a super wet brush, it's gonna dilute the paint more. So for my handles, I'm just gonna paint with my brown same thing on the other side, paint with my brown. And if you wanted to just leave it brown, you could. I am going to take just ooh, barely, that's more white than I wanted, but barely any white on my brush. I may have been better off choosing a smaller brush for this part. And then even less black. Put that kind of at the bottom side here. Okay, for the shadow. And then I'm gonna go back into my brown like I did earlier and kind of go over it, kind of blend those tethers together. So I did white at the top, black at the bottom. Then if I want to, inside here where there's an opening, maybe I want that to be dark like a shadow. I can paint that sort of thing. I want down here it to be kind of a shadow where that is over the little foot of my pot, I can totally add that. So you want it to look like your vase, nice and evenly painted now, so that it can be ready for our details. And if there's some imperfections, don't worry about that, because when we add the patterns, we'll just strategically place those patterns to cover up any kind of mistake you may feel like you made. But honestly, I don't feel like there's gonna be any mistakes because we'll make it work because we're artists. So um, we divide, folded the paper in half, we drew one half of our um, vase, we traced over it with the black oil pastel, folded the paper over, rubbed it, 
so that when we opened it up, we have a nice symmetrical vase. We retrace the side with the oil pastel. And then remember, I started off with just plain brown down the center. Then without dipping my brush into water, or wiping it off, then I went to black, very small amount of black. I just went around the edge, just the edge. And then I dipped my brush into the brown and blended that. So I had a nice dark, medium to um, light shades of brown. And then the last step was the white and that's much weaker. So I made sure to dry off my brush first before the white um, so that it was a little more pure. And look, my paints look still pretty good. So that tells my, me that I did wipe them off and then place this on the drying rack and you're done for today.